Several neighbors tell me this was a massive block party gone wrong. Late Saturday night going into Sunday morning, a huge area of Maple Grove in Weiser Park were, was blocked off for a party. Now, neighbors say a fight broke out between two women and they were fighting on top of a car. I spoke to the owner of the car who doesn't want to be identified. She says a family member woke her up telling her someone was fighting on top of her car. She went outside and saw the scuffle. A few minutes later, she says a group of guys came to break up the fight. When the girls continued, one guy fired gunshots into the air trying to stop the fight. After that, another neighbor says one police officer arrived and tackled one person to the ground. That's when more gunshots were fired on another street nearby. Witnesses say that's when more police cars came to the area. The neighbor says the officers told everyone not to move. That's when a guy got out of the backseat of a white Jeep. That's when police shot him. Neighbors say when the boy was shot, he fell to the ground and did not move until medics arrived. Why would you shoot him if, you, if you're not defending yourself? But why would you shoot him? You know, you, he could have went to something else instead of shooting him. But he probably felt himself was in danger. In a press release, police say the person shot is suffering from non-life threatening injuries. Neighbor Alicia Vargas says block parties aren't uncommon in the area. She says she doesn't believe any of this is gang related, just a party gone bad. She adds that she feels safe in her neighborhood, but what is concerning is that neighbors called police multiple times to break up the party before chaos erupted. I called back again. I said, nope, you got to send somebody because it's getting out of hand. Too many kids out here, too many people. That's when she said they were fighting, so she must have called. It was 12 o'clock. The party's still going on. 1230. There you go. That's when all the chaos started. She says when she called 911, she was told that the department was short staffed and couldn't send officers at the time. I reached out to Fort Wayne police multiple times for an update. I was told they cannot speak at this time and everything is still under investigation. Brianna Brownlee, Lane 15 News.